previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. I, I got drive. another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night, I heard your friend Doug laying in bed, just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. But he knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's gotta miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He thinks I'm a danger to the group, and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health? I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on!
Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Get chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, fucked up. You've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit. Walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. You have to get him out. You have to! Lee, do something! Please! What is this happening to us? <laughs> He's lost so much blood already! Please hurry up! Forget it! We used hurry. to stand like that up here for the place to lift over. Please hurry! You're not cutting through that. Try to cut the chain! There's so much blood. <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Please! We can't just leave him like this! Come on. Try something! Ah, ah, damn it. There's got to be another way. Come on, do something! Damn it, Lee, just cut off his do fucking you think leg. Can it open? We don't have time for that. Oh, I'm so oh, Jesus, those guys are gonna be here now. soon. Fuck! I want my leg. This can't be happening. Stop! 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 Oh God! Please save, save him! I can't keep him back forever. Fuck! I'm just wasting oh, ammo man. now. Oh, we gotta go. Jesus, I need to walk! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god there's so many of them! No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Can't leave Mr. Parker like that! Give me the gun! Give it to God me! Damn it, let Grab go. it!
I am so sorry, everyone. This whole time, my headset has been down. So, yeah, now I'm here. Um, episode 2 of The Walking Dead. Uh, we met Ben. I love Ben. Ben's amazing. Um, and, yeah, let's get back to it. So, you already saw everything. You just didn't hear my reaction to it. Um, I don't know what the hell was the point of cutting his leg off or we were just going to leave him for dead. And we could have just shot him. And she is kicking a ball into a gasoline tank. That's safe. I, I mean, I do that. That's safe. I do that. I do that every day. This is... Oh, no. Or is that us? It's obvious that that kid we were holding is dead. Lily, if you shoot us, I will punch you in the face. I will punch you in the face if you shoot us, Lily. Everyone is armed and ready to fucking blow someone's head off. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, Who's that? Days, Don't have time to explain. Hey, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the Who the house. hell are these people? Can you fix them? Jesus, Ken! Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the what? hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not Larry, responsible you need to for every shut struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. Oof. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? No, we're carrying groceries. We're carrying uh, apples. And, um... Welcome to the family, kid. Apples. Come over here and see what I drew. Oh my god, the trunk no, of the I... truck says Just come on, shit okay. happens. You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group? <laughs> but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Yeah, and you don't... Yeah, Lee made a choice, so shut that up. guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, mm -hmm. Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. Shut we up, simply Lord. don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My mm -hmm. girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? She has more balls than you, You know Lee. what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, She's then a woman. you do it. I don't know how would she how she would have balls. Um, but yeah. That's I guess we'll all just the go food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Okay. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You okay, see how bet. it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Um, I will give the apple. She gave me an apple, right? I said we had an apple. I didn't even know we had an apple. I didn't even know we had an apple, but apparently we had an apple. I'm not giving the fucking food to Larry. I don't care. I will give it to Clementine. I'll give it to Kenny. I'll give it to Ben. And the fourth one is from me. And I just shoved all that food in my ass. Um. Okay, so two crackers. Um, beef jerky. 
and Apple. I want to give the Apple to Clementine. How are you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? I want to give the beef jerky to... Do you really need it? Uh, sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I do find I've it. Gotta take care of some things. Why don't you go back she to wears it in uh, season four. Okay. So, I must find it. Um, first of all, I'm going to give the beef jerky to Kenny. Because I think I might be able to... I think the first one is what I give. So I'll give beef jerky. Give cracker. Oh, I get to choose. Uh, give piece of jerky. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Fine, I'll give your boy a fucking piece of crackers for God's sake. I side with you and then you get fucking mad at me? Jesus, fine. Hey, Here, Doc, you want the fucking crackers? How about a little food? <laughs> I could eat. He seems so happy. Uh, he will give you cheese and crackers. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry. It would have been so dumb if I said, "Hey, you want any food?" and then I and then just left. <laughs> um, okay, Clementine. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I will give you half an apple. I love apples. Thank you. Oh, are there more? No. No. That was the last one. Oh. But um, we learned it. something new about I'm Clementine. She loves apples. Good to know. Good to know. Hey, Clementine, want another thing to eat? All right, Kenny. I'll give you some beef jerky now. I give beef jerky to you. Want something to eat? Why do you look so mad at me all the time? Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Okay. One more cheesy cracker. To, um. Keep the last piece of food for yourself. Save the last piece of food for someone else. Save oh, the last. These people food. have gone longer than me without food. Yeah. The ones that need it. I was going to give it to Ben. So let's go over to the people that I can give. I can give it to Ben, I can give it to Lily, I can give it to Doug, and I can give it to Kaja. I think I'm going to give it to Ben because I don't like Lily. Kaja, I don't really know. And um, Doug, well I saved his life. I've already done enough for him. And I really don't care care for Larry. Um. And then there's the guy I met. I was hunting in the woods with. I don't even know him. Um. I know Ben very well. Even though I just met him. Um. And uh. Yeah. You guys are not going to stop me. I love Ben. He is amazing. Want something to eat? <laughs> if your camp got raided. Probably means you haven't eaten in a while. I I am really hungry. Thanks. Oh, he's so nice. Not such an easy job, is it? It's pretty fucking easy. I don't Oof. envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey. Thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep... I really don't care! Treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well I don't see you working on that wall. Kenny is the better old man than you. Even though Kenny's not that old. Well, actually, he does look pretty old, but... Hey, Lily! 
Ellie, your dad's a bitch. We should think about leaving here. I have no food left for you. Um. Uh, let's talk about you and Kenny. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. No, no, no. Kenny's, food. Kenny, Kenny's good boy. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Um, I have no food Lily left for you. I see how it is, Lee. Talk to you later, okay? Hey, whoa. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. Oh, oh gee, Keep yeah. Fine. It's it's super good here, we're close to the drugstore. They're probably talking about like, um, like the good, like, um, medicine, but still. Is he gonna be okay? I had a I joke know. opportunity, so I wanted to. Quick? Uh, sure, what do you need? I'd better not. Sure, what do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. What were you thinking bringing him here? Even if he lives, we aren't going to be able to take care of him. It's what your husband wanted. Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. Well, <laughs> you've done all you can. Lee. He's dumber than a home. bag of hammers. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. I already basically checked in on everyone. I gave them food, so that counts as checking in on them. Well, actually, I still get to check in with uh, Doug and um, the guy I just met and um, hey, Doug. <laughs> Dump Mass. What's up, Lee? What are you working on? I think Kaja can save that guy. I'm out of food. Um, I'm out of Sorry, food. I ran out before I could give you any food. That's okay, Lee. You don't need to be saving my life all the time. <laughs> He's talking about when I saved his life the first time. <laughs> think Kaja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could yeah. fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. Uh, what, what you, you working, working on? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. Does it work? How does it work? Um, how does it work? How does it work? I set up trip lines at four locations, and each one triggers one of these four bells. So, so we'll know where they are and how. There are long three normal are. bells, and then Smart. there's like a fucking bell that Take just goes easy, ding. You too, Lee. Ding. Um. All right, let's go talk to Larry. First, I want to talk to Soccer Ball. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. What? No, I wanted to talk to Soccer Ball. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. I've never seen a bigger dick in my life. That guy is so rude. Where am What's I going? Oh, that, that was my first attempt at making an alarm system. The new version is much more sophisticated. <laughs> he set up one wire and it goes off and it makes can noises. Okay, I don't know why I said a can makes that noise, but it just does. What's up, bitch? Lily and Kenny need to get along. Lily wants to ditch the new people. Sorry there's no food. I'm gonna say sorry there's no food left and he's gonna get fucking pissed off at me. So I'm gonna say it. Sorry Larry, there's nothing left. Go piss up a flagpole, Lee. Oh my god. You hurt my feelings so much, you old bastard. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Oh my god, you're mean. 
Lily wants to ditch the new Lily people. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Sam right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could nope. use your axe. You mind if we take it? Nope. Yeah, you give I... us that thing for a bit. No, it's my axe. You mean it. Give axe to Mark. Give axe to all. Oh. Larry. Oh, sorry. Mark is nicer. And I bet he probably knows how to use an axe there. Um, well, I don't trust him with an axe because he's very rude. But I know he will freak out if I don't give him it. I'm giving the axe to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. No, you're not. You didn't think to give me the axe? Oh my God! Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Please. He died. He didn't he make died. it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. I'm so sick of this shit, I'm too. I'm sick of this shit, too. You don't think I am? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's for the best. We're already struggling to feed our own kids. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Uh... Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, no! No! Yeah, oh, he came back as a walker. Oh, what the... <laughs> there was a glitch and I had no head. I have no head! He bit my head up! Move, move! Shit, it's stuck! Ah! We tried to save your life and now you're trying to murder me? Oh, Jesus! How big is this truck? Ah. Oh, what the? Ah, squeeze his eyes! Push him off! I don't want to hit you! Get up! <sighs> Thanks. Jesus. No problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! No one was bit. Why didn't so you tell us he was bitten? Me. What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. Oof. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Uh... We're all infected? Everyone? I, I guess so. I don't know. I, all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Hey, she died. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Oh. Oh, God damn it! Not them! Oh, it works. Of course it works. I told you. 
shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Uh. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. All right. Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, okay. That's far enough. No oh, problem. shit. You're outnumbered here. Are you armed? You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but, but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. No. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what do y'all think? No deal, we'll just stay here. Okay, we'll go to the dairy. No! I think we'll stay here. We're starting to develop a good vibe here at the motel. Good vibe? Well, Listen, I'm sorry if you guys are mad, but I don't want Mark getting his goddamn legs chopped oh, Christ, off. Daddy I'm sorry the folks with the food supply and defenses didn't tickle your pretty pink ass. We need to think like a group, Lee. This affects everyone. Then we vote. If everyone agrees, then we'll send you guys with some gas to check the place out. No. If we don't... Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. Plus, we stay close to Macon where we have access to the pharmacy. Her dad. Penny? Katja? We go. Dad? You bet you, pumpkin. Thug? I say we do it. I'm in. If they're offering food, we gotta at least check it out. Mark, you want your fucking leg chopped off? Do you like your legs or something? What do you think? We... I'm very hungry. Alright. Looks like we're going to a dairy. No! No, 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 so, no, this no. Dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the I don't cattle, give a shit if you have food milk, or not. Butter and cheese stuff. Mark's just gonna get... And with the vegetables Mark, we grow, we got plenty gonna... of food. Thanks for uh, Mark, you dumbass. We're gonna get your legs chopped off. Give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor room. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? As long as the walkers are completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Turkey. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank Ooh. God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Um... I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Um, well, I. Yeah. You guys have any questions? You come to me. How many people you got over there anyway? Train subject. Enough to defend ourselves. Enough to defend ourselves? Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's...
Everyone's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Wait, pulling this shit. Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Who are they? Shh, Fuck you! You knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it all for yourself! What do we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Whoa! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, shit! Jesus. Asshole. Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. I don't know what the point of this game is if they're gonna ask if we should go or stay. And even if I say we should stay, they're just gonna be like, nope, we're going. I don't care what you say, we're going. Oh, I'm on a sugar crash. I got a fucking cash. Maybe I should take a bath. I'm afraid I have. Please don't sue me. Please, please. Not copyrighted. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Ooh, y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps Looks them out. Fine. You betcha, they fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. We can't have the kids running around the fence. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Me. We work together. Uh, Lily, I've got things under control. We all uh work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, Me! Uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Yeah, and you're also gonna try fucking Mercedes. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! Sorry. <laughs> Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out. A big feast Shall for you hungry souls. The main course is Mark. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. Don't, don't take me. Ben can come with me. Okay. Take this. Oh! All right. See you later. Timer. Mark, Lee, yes. why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. Hi, It'd be a sure. big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. Oh. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Let's make sure this place is safe. 
we should do whatever we can to help out. Um, we should do whatever we can do to help out. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed uh, a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't uh, see. Might be bad. the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what All you right. can from Andy. Okay. All right. That's gonna do it for this episode of The Walking Dead. I think this is a great place to end it because we're at a new location, the farm. I cannot wait to see this guy with no fricker doodle legs. Anyway, let's just look at Lee's face. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, enjoy this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next Walking Dead video. Goodbye.